Let's start with your reading, Libra. Today, we are going to look into your recent past, current energies, and near future. And then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more details about your messages. Now, let's begin right away with your reading. Okay. All right. The main energy for the reading today is the hermit. You are trying to find your way out of something here, Libra. Something that has made you feel trapped for a while now. And a situation that it's definitely not giving you what you were expecting. It feels like this is something you have lost yourself into, perhaps. A situation that made you change and not in a way that makes you proud, if that makes sense. Overall, this is something here that you're trying to leave behind, but you're not sure how to do it in a permanent way. Let's see if by digging deeper into this message, we'll be able to give you some clarity and strength, especially. In the recent past, we have the Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. What we see here is how things kept changing around you constantly, not allowing you to make long-term plans and not allowing you to feel stable, to feel balanced. Right here, we see something very intense, very exciting coming in, but soon transitioning into its very opposite energy. It feels like you've gone through long periods of success, followed by long periods of self-destruction and failure, and you have been having a hard time figure out how to keep the situation and your life balanced so that you can build the future that you are wanting for yourself. We'll come back to this to figure out why the presence of this ever-changing energy. There must be a reason. In the present, we have Knight of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. You know, it's taken a while, but what I see you doing in the present is trying to find the strength needed in order to overcome something. With this Five of Pentacles, you might be feeling left out, insecure, and feeling as though you're just not destined to have what you want, which is absolutely not the case, and soon you'll see why I say that. Sometimes you cannot help but wondering if maybe... There is something wrong with you. If maybe you are unlovable, that's what the Five of Pentacles person feels like. And you're wondering if there is any use in keep fighting for what you want since you're not getting it. Listen, Libra, there is a lot to say about this. A lot you don't know. A lot you cannot see because it's moving very slow. But that's key. It's moving towards you. And we'll see what this is about as soon as we clarify it's already moving, actually. So something is already happening. We'll see what that is. In the near future, Three of Cups, the world. I mean, finally. We finally see something to look forward to here, Libra. I can tell that this is a very difficult time for you. I really feel it. But please know that things are about to get much better. And once you get here, you will understand why. We will clarify this in a minute to see what it is about. But just so you know, the world talks about success, achievement, dreams coming true, feeling complete and not always looking for something that will give you that balance and that happiness that you have been looking for. This is really beautiful and it will give you a reason to celebrate. We'll see. We'll see what this is about when we come back to this. Now... Let's start clarifying and let's begin with your recent past. Justice, Knight of Swords, and the Chariot right here. With the Page of Wands coming up once again, you know, it feels like Someone here was really bringing a lot of excitement into the situation, but 
they were always in control of it. They could have brought it to you or taken it away from you. It feels like this person had too much control over the situation. And as we were saying at the beginning, you might have lost yourself in this a little bit. You know, I really see you here through your ups and downs. And these are major ones. One day you are at the top of the world. You feel good. You feel determined with this chariot. And then the next day, instead, you find yourself at the bottom of the ocean with all the pressure of the water pushing you down, making it impossible for you to go back up. Right here, that need for balance and for fairness, it's definitely something that uh, made you struggle with this person in the past. The thing that bothers you the most here is not feeling in control of your life, not feeling in control of yourself, as if there was this external force or this person that keeps making decisions for you. You've had it. You're tired of it. The truth is that from what I'm seeing so far, and it might change with the next clarifications, you haven't relied on yourself enough, you know? You haven't done that in a long time. It's as if you're not trusting yourself with something, not trusting yourself to be alone or to be able to provide what you need. But keep in mind that you have everything that you need you are self-sufficient, you are strong, you're powerful, and honestly, falling in love, it's just an addition to your life. It doesn't have to be part of your foundation, Libra. We all know how much balance is important to you. Make sure to not delegate your balance to anyone. I also have the devil right here at the bottom of this deck. I definitely see that something that you wanted started controlling you and eventually as we were saying as we said twice you lost yourself in it but let's see what's going on in the present let's clarify the current energies the fool the emperor control and the Ace of Cups with the Page of Swords. You know, I definitely see a lot of control over here. Exactly everything that we were talking about. And first of all, what I see here is an advice. When you feel trapped, when you feel trapped into the spiral of thoughts that get worse and worse by the minute, just make sure to tell yourself, all right, this is the time for me to disconnect from this energy, to disconnect from these thoughts, and the time to do something that makes me feel good, makes me feel good in the moment, and then I'll come back to this later. Sometimes you just need to think very short-term, Libra. Solve the issue you have in front of you, and then take one step forward in the right direction. Right here, we see that you just really need to focus on what's coming next with the fool. The fool is not someone who thinks a hundred steps from now. And this is the first advice that I see here. I see you often wanting to solve everything at once. And you fail to see that a journey is made of single steps. And it's always better to focus only on the next step without worrying about what's going to happen months from now. Please keep this in mind. It will definitely help you out more than you know. You also need to understand how much your perception impacts your reality. Right here with the emperor, you're looking to be in control as if this person can really control you. But the truth being is that you let them control you with how you react to what they say, to what they said, to what they did in the past. But that control, it's something that you can quickly shift and take back just by not reacting to whatever this person has said or done. Keep this in mind. It definitely, it's going to help you out. Switch your mentality from I'm broken and helpless to I'm growing and healing. It's going to be very transformative for you. Now, let's see what's coming up in the near future. Let's clarify the near future energy. Oh, eight of wands. 
trend. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Ah, the moon and the nine of swords. Okay, so there is definitely a lot happening here. But the most important thing that I see by clarifying, especially the world, is that you're going to understand a lot of things. A lot of things that you couldn't explain before. There is something here that talks very much about you, Libra. And it shows how in the past, you've had this tendency to often expect for the worst. Look at this Nine of Swords. This little frightened mouse right here, always expecting for those swords to come down and just end it all. Deep down, even when things would go well, you were expecting for them to fall apart. And listen, don't feel bad about this. It's not easy to believe in something, to build hopes and expectations around something that perhaps hasn't already worked out in the past. But the fact that you would always wait for that moment in which everything would start falling apart often placed you in the position of experiencing that very situation that you wanted to avoid. Does that make sense? The main message here is don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to believe, especially in what's coming next in your near future, or you will be stuck in this never-ending cycle again, maybe with other people, but the same dynamic. This cycle can be broken only by you. So it's time to get to work, Libra. You really owe it to yourself. You often felt very lonely in your life. I can see that. But if you could just let go of the fear, I don't think you feel so alone anymore. I really hope this message was clear, Libra, because it really seems to be key for everything that wants to come next. So now let's focus on that incoming energy more. Let's see what you should expect from life once you take control over your own expectations. Let's see what comes your way in the next few months and who you're going to be a year from now, where you're going to be a year from now. Let's keep going with your reading. If you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, Libra, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Libra. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, there you have it, Ten of Pentacles. You can have it all and you are going to have it all. I know that most of you might not believe this right now are just looking at this card and saying eh, this reading is not for me that she's not talking about me and you know right here you really are limiting yourself and that's the exact reason why this hasn't happened so far stop limiting yourself stop picking an outcome before you even start taking the risk let the universe surprise you let the universe work for you. There are a lot of surprises in store for you. Why not taking advantage of that? It's very important to understand that you are always in control, even when you think that you're not. And so don't delegate that control to anyone else because it's all in your hands. We do see this Queen of Swords as well, which came down on the table when I was closing up the previous reading. And that does talk about a conversation, something that comes in and I do believe it's going to perhaps change it all for you. So let me start clarifying these two cards, Queen of Swords and Ten of Pentacles, and then we'll see how the situation is bound to evolve in the future. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. <laughs> ten of Pentacles on Ten of Pentacles. Come on. With the Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay. We have a lot to talk about over here. 
But the first thing that we see, and perhaps the most important one, is this conversation. This will be an eye opener for you. And everything after this conversation will be completely different for you. The first thing that we see with the page of...